Today, Stephen will perform ACI's standard test method, ASTM C1064, for determining the temperature of freshly mixed hydraulic cement concrete. This test must be performed within five minutes of collecting a representative sample based on ASTM C172. The collected sample must be placed in a dampened container large enough to provide 3 inches worth of sample in all directions around the temperature measuring device. The thermometer must be able to measure to an accuracy of 1 degree Fahrenheit and have a range between 40 and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Place your thermometer into the sample until the sensor portion is 3 inches below the surface. Next, lightly press on the surface of the sample to close off the sensor from the surrounding air so that it will not affect the reading. Take your reading between 2 and 5 minutes after having inserted the thermometer. Note the reading to the nearest 1 degree Fahrenheit. The thermometer must be calibrated at least once a year or if its accuracy is questioned. This test sample can be reused for any other ASTM test required, such as for making a specimen, which we will show next. Wayne will now perform ACI's ASTM C31 standard method for making concrete test specimens in the field. For this demonstration, we will cover compression specimens made in cylindrical molds. This test must begin within 15 minutes of the representative sample being collected as per ASTM C172. Please reference standard ASTM C31 in order to determine your tamping rod diameter, your method of consolidation, be it by rotting or vibration, your number of rotting or vibrator insertions per layer, and the number of layers you will need for your mold. This will be based on the size of your mold. This procedure will need to be performed on a level, clean, and non-vibrating surface. The following equipment is required for this method. A tamping rod, a cylindrical mold, a hand trowel, and a hand scoop. The mold in this case will have a 4 inch diameter and be 8 inches high. As always, all equipment must be dampened. ACI standard ASTM C31 requires the mold to be lightly coated in mineral oil, but for this demonstration we will simply dampen the mold with water. For this mold size, we will need to fill the mold in two equal layers by volume. In this case, the first layer will need to be 4 inches deep for this 8 inch high mold. Pour your sample concrete along the perimeter of the mold to ensure even distribution. Next, rod your layer 25 times without reaching the bottom of this mold. Start by rotting 12 times around the perimeter. The last 13 rods will spiral around this layer to its center. Next, this disposable mold will be tapped with an open hand 10 to 15 times to complete the consolidation of the first layer. If this were a metal reusable mold, a mallet would be used instead. Pour in the second layer of sample concrete in the same way, but this time overfilling the mold. Once again, rod the top layer 25 times only slightly penetrating the first layer below by one inch. If during the rotting the layer falls below the top of the mold, once again 
overfill the mold with more sample concrete and continue your rotting count from where you left off. Once again, tap the sides of the mold 10 to 15 times to consolidate. Strike off the overfill on the mold with the tamping rod. Now smooth over the sample with a hand trowel. Clear the mold and its surroundings of any extra concrete. Label the side of the mold with an appropriate utensil to identify the sample concrete it represents. Move the mold to its initial storage space by supporting the base. The mold must be sealed with a cover and stored properly for transporting and curing. And that is how to perform the ASTMC 31 method for making concrete test specimen.